Well, now we look back at the five non-Olympic races that took place earlier today. To begin with, the women's lightweight single skulls, for which none of the skullers in picture may weigh more than 59 kilos. 20 entries, and this race won last year by America's Sarah Garner, who goes tomorrow in the double skulls. Well, over on the far side in lane number one, the representative for Hong Kong, Fenella Ng, who last year finished seventh in the world ranking. To her left in lane number two, the French woman, Benedict Lucy, who was silver medalist last year. In fact, she's been the silver medalist for the past three lightweight world championships. And then in uh, lane three, another finalist from last year, Julia Godisoyan from Argentina. She finished in sixth place and may do better today. Alongside her in lane four, Switzerland's Pia Vogel. She's had a year off, but she's come back and has a major chance of a medal today. In lane five for Croatia, a youngster and relatively inexperienced, Myrna Rai, who was... In the repercharges last year, got eliminated at that stage in 97, so she's done better to get into this year's final. And completing the lineup, closest to you on picture, Tracy Duncan for Canada, who takes over from Laurie Featherstone, who represented her country last year in this event when she finished ninth. Well, it's wet conditions, but pretty flat water, and good to get uh, good for lightweight scholars. On the far side there, it's Hong Kong's first ever representative in a World Championship rowing final. Done very well to get to this stage. But Switzerland's Pia Vogel it is in lane number four, who's started quickest of all. There she is in the centre of your screen. Then one up from her in the white hat was Julie Golisoyan for Argentina. And it's the Swiss and the Argentinian who've gone out fastest of all. There's Pia, 29 years of age, a bronze medalist in this event back in 1994 in Indianapolis. But like so many athletes, she's striving for the gold, which she's never achieved. And Argentina now take over. That's a great, great uh, scholar, the Argentinian scholar. She's, uh, she's very, very strong, quite small, but very, very powerful and a great, great competitor. Uh, but Pia Vogel is just see a little bit more run coming out of her boat. She's just letting the boat run that little bit more. She seems a bit more relaxed over the front end. Julie, who's been rowing for 12 years, this her second World Championships, and the Argentinian women's squad in particular making great progress, which really shows up how well the FISA development scheme is beginning to work. Well, Argentina has four finalists at these World Championships, which is a very, very good uh, performance from South America. There's a, a, a finalist also from Chile. Uh, so really, the, the South Americans are doing very well with Mexico in there as well. Tracy Duncan, 24 years of age from Saskatoon, engineering graduate, was fourth uh, last year in the lightweight double skulls, but trying to get an individual medal today. And here's the young Croatian from Osijek in the eastern part of our country, pretty confident and quite positive. Yes, her target is fourth, and she said if all goes well, she'd hope for a bronze medal. But at the moment, she's got to hope that one of the front three breaks and she can pick up some of the pieces here she is she's been rowing for six years but up front it's the Canadian the Swiss and the Argentinian who are already making the best of their way home here's Pia Vogel now she took this uh, year off she got back into the boat last March actually spent much of last winter up in Scotland and uh, now, though, back in Switzerland at uh, Sursi, where she currently lives. She's sculling well. She's got good power through the middle of the stroke to the finish. She gets a good send on her boat. Very confident, very strong and well linked up between the leg drive and the back. And she's just now beginning to move ahead of the other two scholars. She's just showing up ahead there. She was third going through the 500. She's now moved into the lead. And it's Canada beginning to drop back a little bit. As only Argentina, Julia Garrison, who is holding on there and giving the sculler from Switzerland the run. It's these two now up in front. Yes, the 95 Pan American champion, Julie Garrison, really uh, making uh, great advances now this season. She's putting Pia Vogel under some pressure. Pia, 
as we look at uh, Julie now. Now Pia starts to respond a little bit. Interesting, she had a pretty uh, disappointing 95 and 96 Pia Vogel. She was looking at that time down for a partner to go into the lightweight double skulls to challenge at the Olympics, and it didn't come off. And she's really reformed now and coming back. You can see the difference in style here. Uh, the Pia Vogel is just getting that extra little bit of run forward. The boat's just running that bit further as they go through the 1,000 metres, uh, just running a little bit more between the strokes than uh, Julia uh, Garrison, who's a bit quicker into the water, a bit more punchy with her stroke. Well, here's Pia, who was beaten by the Frenchwoman, Benedict Lucy, who's yet to make a move in this race. She was beaten in Lucerne by uh, the French woman by just a canvas but at the moment Pierre looking much the more positive scholar of the two and we're looking for a late French charge remember Benedict's in lane two as we see the two leaders virtually stroke for stroke it's a very good sculling there from the two of them they're well up in front but there is just in the in the corner of the picture there it's Canada still trying to hold on to that uh, to, uh, to the overlap Still hoping to try and mount a challenge in the second half of this race. Yes, it's uh, France coming up to challenge Canada for that bronze medal position. Here's uh, Tracy. Well, she did well enough to uh, qualify. I just wonder whether she's got enough overall speed here to hang on and get a medal. She's sculling well, but there's not quite the power through the middle of the stroke that you can see in Piers sculling. Just a little bit, but she's still holding into the... Uh, in, in, she's still there in the picture, still holding on tight. And uh, as Garrison starts to slip back a little bit, uh, it looks like these three there for the, uh, the first three medals. On the far side now, Benedict Luzzi uh, from Grenoble, as we just switched back to Julie Garrison. Now she's digging deep now. This is where it's really beginning to hurt now. But she knows that she's in with a chance of a world championship medal. And that's very special as uh, Garrison still keeps herself in contention. Vogel, though, I have the feeling now growing in confidence. Yeah, she's very nice and long there forward. She does pick it up very long forward and then has a good, strong finish. But look at France come. Look at Benedict Luzui as she comes up now. She's beginning to put challenge now on the, uh, the second and third scholars, and she's almost got an overlap there with Argentina. Yes, but she's still got some work to do, and I just wonder why she's allowed herself to be left so far behind now. We're into the last quarter of the race, and you can see how awful the conditions are. It really is unpleasant out there, but these women will not worry about that now. They are totally focused. This is tunnel vision now. There's that Duncan's boat for Canada in the foreground, then Pia Vogel, then three from the bottom of your picture in the white hat Argentina now Lucy really beginning to accelerate on the far side the French woman making her presence felt there and getting to terms there with Garrison so this is really going to be a fight now Vogel at the moment still in charge of the gold medal position and Duncan under severe pressure indeed it looks uh, Garrison looked like she got a sort of second a second win there she's putting uh, Vogel under under attack again uh, but Canada still hanging on, still hanging on, and France coming now all the time. France on the top of your picture, moving with every single stroke. Great finish here from the French sculler, and she's beginning to overhaul Argentina, and it's Canada still holding on to second place. Into the last 200, here's Benedict Lucy. Remember, she's been the runner-up in not only 97, but also 96, when the lightweight world championships were in Strathclyde in Scotland, and in 95 on a rainy, rainy course in Tampere in Finland. She desperately does not want to finish in silver medal position, but she's got an awful lot of sculling to do. She wants to catch Pia Vogel. Tracy Duncan on the near side, that's a false position which the camera's giving you. She is actually now only in fourth place because Gary Soen of Argentina is still in a medal condition and it's medal position I should say there as Pia Vogel holds off from Lucy they're coming to the line now and it's Switzerland ahead of France Switzerland take the gold France takes silver and Argentina get the bronze denying Canada who end up in fourth place but Pia Vogel is for the first time in her life world champion what a great finish there. What a fantastic finish from France. That was a superb last 500 metres from Benedict Luzoy. She did a fantastic push there to get, uh, get into silver medal position. But what great, great triumph for the Swiss sculler, Pia Vogel. Indeed, a really terrific finish. You can see how close the French woman got to Pia Vogel. 
Did she leave it a little bit too late? And Garrison getting the bronze medal and Vogel absolutely delighted with that effort. It was that close, just over a metre. And here's the bronze medal. Garrison getting it ahead of Canada. So Pierre's tactics to be in the first three at halfway and then to strike for gold, working out perfectly. Benedict Luzzi, the runner-up yet again. Very good, good sculling from the two leading scholars there at this stage. You can see Pia Vogel's wonderful extra reach there forward where she just lets the boat run that little bit further. But the good, tough, hard, aggressive stroke there from the Argentinian sculler Julia Garrison. Cologne proving to be a good regatta course for Pia Vogel. 11 years ago, the silver medalist at the Junior Worlds. Today, the world champion.